going on, guys? And we are back outside Tuesday, 6 a.m., people. This is day two of my $6,500 challenge. We over $350 thanks to New Year's Day, not New Year's Eve. Don't say I'm cheating. New Year's Day, we made 212 on Empower, 144 up on Lyft. Uh, even with that glitch going on with Lyft, man, they they try to they try to knock me down. They try to move remove my spirits, but I still made it happen. You guys know New Year's Day, New Year's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I was trying to go for six to seven hundred dollars on those two days. We was two dollars away, I believe, from that seven hundred dollars. Uh, them two days, it wasn't even two whole days, guys, that I worked, but we just calling it two days. It's two separate days, but we made. Uh, I think uh, 698, that video should be up already because I already edited that and it's in the, wherever it is that, just sitting, waiting, waiting to drop, scheduled. <laughs> but um, I'm going to start trying to do that more, 2024, drop more videos. Um, the $6,500 challenge is what I calculate to get what I need to excel, um, go to the next level. Um, yes, I do have the cargo van already, but my game plan is is to either put that on hire car, to rent it out, or put somebody in that van, meaning that I have to go search for a contract. But that's I'm a I'm gonna do that towards the end of February. I'm gonna decide on that. I just need a Dodge Caravan Stow and Go or Chrysler Town and Country Stow and Go. I need an Insta 360 Go Three to upgrade my video get you guys a better quality of youtube videos and a laptop so that's what i'm calculating now with that 6500 as you guys know we failed the last challenge because i decided to deliver some pizzas but that was so random but i enjoyed that i enjoyed that for the time i enjoyed it um <laughs> i enjoyed that for the time i enjoyed it i mean it was cool um I could possibly chose another market with the pizza because half of that city tipped, half of that city didn't. And you guys know where I was always at, the city that didn't tip, tip the part of the city that didn't tip. But it's 2024. We ain't talking about no pizza. We're talking about freight. We're talking about getting back where I was at before COVID hit. Um, if you guys didn't know, I had a cargo van business with two cargo vans. And it was, it was, it was, it was booming. But I put all my eggs in one basket, guys which was auto parts, which was a Pet Boys contract that I had. And I don't know if it's just my market, but Pet Boys went under, um, meaning the auto parts section is no, long, don't, no, no longer exist. It's just the service section. Section. It is what it is with that. I'm COVID hit, had to make some adjustments. So <laughs> um, we went on ahead, sold the vans, uh, and yeah. We went back to gig economy. We did. We made some good, decent money. But uh, I will say this: after the New Year's Eve I just had and the New Year's Day, yeah, I'm a little worried about the ride share game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little worried about the ride share game. Uh, the Christmas that just passed, the the major holidays where it should have been surging at. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about next level getting back to where i was at and that's what i need the camera the van the laptop um i do need to fix the doors up on uh the back doors up on that uh that um the cargo man the e uh the e350 i have and uh yeah we're gonna make us some money this year 2024 we're claiming it we claiming this challenge this challenge is gonna be done i'm gonna try to give you guys updates uh two to three videos a week uh throw some shorts in show y'all what i'm doing and yeah just enjoy the ride guys because we most definitely hitting this 6500 this month even though it's not the best of month january we go hit it i'm claiming it all right so we up what 122 up on lift and we got a 26 dollar roadie order from walmart guys 65 inch usually the 70 inches come in this type of box so this is a, a big ass 65 inch box of tv not even this big but usually i could do a 70 and that's it but uh with this tv the dimensions are basically a 70 inch tv dimensions but it is what it is still got it up in here 
and this is why I need that stone and go guys I would have had way more room for this TV in this order going on stand road in the hood if I knew that would I took it hell yeah I would have took it it's uh Tuesday it's 10 50 it was like 10 40 when I took the order nah I'm lying it was like uh 10 28 or something like that when I took the order but um so yeah I would have took it most definitely because they back your car up bruh I should have went right past see I'm trying to I was trying to be um a nice guy today but this guy like slowly back in this car boom 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 like come on back your car but yeah I would have most definitely still took this order because uh twenty six dollars after 10 o'clock hour after 10 30 yeah ain't nothing going on <laughs> so it's gonna take us about 15 minutes to get to the destination and uh catch off we get something else like that i'll be back i'll be back on camera here and there if we get like stuff like this um that's how i'm ahead of videos at the end of the videos i give y'all like the, the total of the day are we cool on that comment below Right, y'all so I did a well I'm doing still on a $30 shopping delivery order guys and as y'all see I got the bag I'm bagging stuff outside of the Walmart right now so PG County I don't know if it's the whole Maryland but I know PG County decided to get rid of plastic bags today so you got the Walmart planning team in there you know you know how a planning team look uh that team that just looked like they coming from somewhere else you know like a different part of the united states and uh just told them deployees while i was in line to take the plastic bags down so i'm like what is what is the spark drivers gonna do? And in the day, and it would be the day I decide to take a basically big order, as y'all see from the video. So this order is taking me way longer than expected. Cause as y'all see, and well, if y'all hear me, y'all hear it, y'all don't see because the way I got the phone position, unfortunately. I'm out here, have to bag this crap up. Walmart, y'all should have been prepared for this. <laughs> you know, look out for the people that's looking out for y'all, point blank period. So you got these women and men standing in a circle, the Walmart team, uh, we all know if you ever worked in that type of environment, there's always some random higher-ups that come to the store and demand this and demand that. Don't have no type of uh, grounding to the earth no more, right? Cardigan sweater wearing, Starbucks sipping dweebs. Take the bags away while people was in line. Instead of coming to the store early, like a real a real HR or whatever team y'all should do so the customers wouldn't even see the bags, y'all take them away at one o'clock. Tell And then tell your associates to take them away at one o'clock. You see people with all this stuff. You got people that's probably in Walmart that got EBT, that's on EBT that ain't got extra, t I mean I'm not trying to say this is good not to have a couple of cents in your pocket, but uh, that's what it is, you know? So that that just kind of pissed me off because what I did, you know, my my little my they they messed with me in there. I said, hey, y'all ain't got no bags in the cut, and I just bag it up outside. So as y'all see, they threw me some bags, and I just kept it moving, man. That it's it's just it's just stupid, man. It's just stupid. I I just that's why I don't work in those type of uh, environments no more, especially with like HR teams like that come from freaking you and Merlin the HR team come from freaking Wisconsin or something don't know nothing was going on about nothing just there to do a reset of the store and just stupid man just stupid seem like the people that get paid the most money 
and those type of companies don't have no common sense. One, two, three, four.